Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to transform a photo of a face into a gorgeous glass block mosaic portrait and how to quickly replace the face without having to redo the effects. I provided this mosaic pattern so you can follow along. Its link is located in my video's description below or project files. Open a photo of someone's face that you'd like to use for this project. I downloaded this one from Shutterstock. To place it onto the mosaic pattern, make sure your Move tool is selected and drag your photo onto the tab of the mosaic grid. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down onto the grid and release. To resize and reposition it, open your Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. To see your transform's entire bounding box, press Ctrl or Command 0. Go to a corner, and when you see a diagonal double arrow, press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag it in or out. To reposition it, go inside the bounding box and drag the image. I'll undo the transform by clicking this icon. When you're happy with its size and position over the grid, accept the transform by clicking the check mark at the top or by pressing Enter or Return twice. Click the lock icon to unlock the background. Drag it above your photo. Make a copy of it by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the Artistic Folder and click Plastic Wrap. Make the Highlight 20, the Detail 1, and the Smoothness 15. Then click OK. Change the Blend Mode to Linear Burn and reduce its opacity to 80%. Make the original grid layer active and change its blend mode to soft light. To temporarily hide all the layers except the original grid, Alt click or Option click the eyeball icon next to the original grid. Open the Channels panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and Channels. Control click or command click the thumbnail of the RGB channel to make a selection of the grid. Open back your layers panel and press the delete key on your keyboard to delete the white areas of your image, leaving just the black grid. To deselect it, press control or command D. Make the two other layers visible and double click the middle layer to open its layer style window. Click Bevel and Emboss. The style is Outer Bevel, the technique is Smooth, and the depth is 100%. The direction is Up, the size is 10 pixels, and soften it 16 pixels. The angle is 131 degrees and the altitude is 42 degrees. The highlight mode is Linear Dodge and has an opacity of 50%. The shadow mode is Multiply and its opacity is 20%. Click Inner Glow. The color is black. The Blend Mode is Multiply, and the Opacity is 100%. The Source is Edge, the Choke is 0, and the Size is 5 pixels. Then click OK. Let's brighten our image a bit. Make your Subject active, and click the Adjustment Layer icon. Click Levels. Drag the Input Highlight slider to the left a little to brighten your overall image. 
Next, we'll begin the process of repositioning your subject within the glass blocks. Make your subject active. We're going to drag it onto the folder icon, which places our subject inside a folder. Make the subject active and click the icon at the upper right of the Layers panel. Click Convert to Smart Object. This will allow us to replace the photo with another without having to redo any of the effects. We're going to make copies of our subject. Each copy will be associated with a specific glass block. I'll press Ctrl or Command J 16 times to make 16 copies of my subject. If I need more, I'll make more. Make Layer 0 active. Since we'll be adding layer masks next to our subjects, let's widen the Layers panel so we can see the layer masks better. To do this, go to the edge of the panel, and when you see a horizontal double arrow, drag it to the left approximately this much. Open your Magic Wand tool, and make the Tolerance 20. Make sure Contiguous is checked. This will confine the selections that we make to each individual glass block. Make sure Sample All Layers is unchecked. The glass blocks that we click on will only be the ones that show our subject through them. We'll ignore the other glass blocks like these. I'll click inside this glass block to make a selection of its shape. Make the top subject active and click the layer mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection. Click the chain link icon to unlink the layer and the layer mask. Doing this allows us to resize and or reposition either of them independently from the other. Make the grid lines layer active and click inside another glass block that shows your subject through it. Click the next subject layer to make it active, and as before, click the layer mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection. Click off the chain link and make the grid lines layer active. Click inside another glass block that shows your subject through it and continue these steps until you've created layer masks of all the glass blocks that show your subject through them. Make sure you click off all of their chain links. Click the thumbnail of the top subject to make it active and reposition it. You could always reposition it again if you want. Make the next subject active and again drag it to a new position. Continue to reposition your subject in each of the glass blocks until you like the overall result. To replace your photo with another, double-click any subject layer to open the Smart Objects Source image. Open another photo of someone. To place it onto the Source image, drag it onto the tab of the Source image, and without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down and release. We'll size the new photo to the original photo. To see the original photo through the new one, drag the opacity slider to the left. Position it so the face lines up. If you need to resize it, use your transform tool. Increase the opacity back to 100%. If there are areas on the sides that need filling in, We'll use Content Aware Fill. First, open your Rectangular Marquee tool and drag a rectangular selection over the area you want to fill in. Go to Edit and Fill. Choose Content Aware and click OK. Then deselect it. Close the tab. And when you see this message, click Yes to replace your photo. Open your glass block document. Your smart object updated itself with your new photo.
This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.